Hello Fox! In this tutorial, we will tackle what is Arduino Interrupt. We will learn how it works, and at the last part, we will try some Arduino sketch. Links to the source code will be provided in the description, so you may easily try it for yourself. In this way, you will learn to understand what is Interrupts, and enjoy learning by doing it. So here, I already set up the circuit for this uh, interrupt demonstration. So basically, I already connected our circuit to digital pin 2 and pin 3. Digital pin 2 is going to this tactile switch while the digital pin 3 is connected to the display LED the red LED this other wire is for the power or the positive 5 volts and the ground the tactile switch is configured with pull down resistor display LED is connected with 10 kilo ohms resistor so that we will not burn the LED so let us go to my desktop by opening an Arduino IDE then we will create a test sketch for the interrupt so this is a blank sketch so first let us define the pins so define uh, interrupt pin interrupt pin to digital pin 2 and let us define the indicator pin for the LED to digital pin 3 then we will make a volatile volatile uh, variable as int for the LED state LED state equal to let's say 1 initially 1 then we, define, we will define the input pin mode of interrupt pin as input and pin mode for the indicator pin as output then we will check the reference for the interrupt believe that's attached interrupt so this one arduino.cc and let's see the recommendation so basically the available interrupt for arduino uno nano mini and i believe other 3 to 8 base are digital pin 2 and pin 3 only then this is the syntax we will use the recommended one so we'll copy this one we'll go to here and paste we put semicolon so digital pin to interrupt which is the pin this is the interrupt pin the ISR let's call this ISR or button ISR what mode so currently 
this is pull down so rising because from low to high we will detect that one then we will not put anything in the loop we will just use this button ISR boy button ISR so what we will do so when we detect that the button ISR is pressed which is the stop switch we will go to button ISR we will just invert the current state so let's say LED state is equal to not LED state so we just invert then uh, digital write where we will write which is the indicator pin what we will write the LED state so that's all so basically in interrupt we need to consider uh, three th uh, four things to keep in mind we keep it short so our ISR function is short do not use delay so we are not using delay because delay uh, delay function prolong the execution of the function so that's following rule number one rule number three do not use serial in our ISR so no serial here and volatile use volatile uh, variable this is a sparsy standard variable should be declared volatile when there is a chance that the variable will be used outside the normal execution flow or outside the main loop which is the ISR function. Volatile disables the variable optimization. So, let's save this one. Let's say this is interrupt or test or demo interrupt. Demo interrupt. Then, we already connected our Arduino Uno we will just select the correct board under the tools board then we select Arduino Uno then we select the correct port under the tools port COM7 after that we hit upload then let us wait until the compilation and upload is complete when the upload is complete, we can see if our code works. So now, done uploading. So, let's see how it works. Pressing, so currently, the LED state is off, why off? When we press 1, becomes on. Pressing it again, becomes off. Yay! Our code is working. So as you can see, it's malfunctioning because we don't implement any debounce function. So, but it's okay. At least we are able to demonstrate the function of interrupt i hope you like this video and share this to your friends i appreciate your time for watching this video and i am excited to know how you are going to use interrupt in your next project let me know your ideas and suggestions in the comment box 
please subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell so that you will be notified when a fresh video is uploaded. I hope to see you soon in the next video. Bye! Happy tinkering!